Well, welcome in with us our game day preview of the Penguins of Youngstown State. And Jeremy, this Youngstown State team, 5-3. and three. They just got their first Missouri Valley Football Conference win. But you can throw out the records. Every time it's the Bison and the Penguins and Youngstown, it is a tough, tough football game. You know, and I think this version of Youngstown is a very good team. I thought at the beginning of the year they were going to be in the mix, uh, certainly for the playoffs to get back in there. Historically very physical, well-coached team. They always get up for the Bison. I think they match up well. They like to play the physical style of game, so they like to play the Bison. It'll be a dogfight, there's no question. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you think of the Penguins, you think of Bo Polini, and you think of defense, and it's a defensive group up front, Jeremy. Very, very good. Justice Reed and Malik Richmond, two outstanding players. I think they're good at all three levels. I like their linebackers. Safeties are good. They got some nice young corners. Uh, they really scheme up well, too. I think they're coached well defensively. Yep, here's the Rollinate of Carson Schooning on the defensive front of the challenges against Youngstown State. Uh, they play pretty physically. Uh, they've had some dudes up front the last few years. Uh, so they always play us tough. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know what it is, but they uh, come out and ready to go. Oh, we talk physicality on the defensive side of the football. We talked the same on the offensive side with Youngstown State. They are led by a physical offensive line, and the Penguins want to run the ball. Joe Alessi, the speedster, he is a tough running back. And Jeremy, Nathan Mays might be the toughest player, one of the toughest players in all of FCS college football. Their quarterback, he really makes him go. You know, I think his mentality rubs off on the team. I think the offensive line feeds off of it. This is not a team to throw it around the yard. They like to smash it at you just like the Bison. That's why they like this type of game. Yep, here's members of Code Green discussing this Youngstown State offense. They run the quarterback a decent amount for sure, so that'll be something we have to game plan for and deal with. And they, um, they get their running back involved into the passing game a lot too, so that'll be something we also have to plan for. Not just last week, we've kind of been doing that all year giving up a lot of yards, but kind of just locking it down in the red zone. So, um, I mean, the goal is always to limit the big plays, but the biggest thing is keeping them out of the end zone. So we always say field goals don't beat you. Always a great game at Stambaugh Stadium with NDSU and Youngstown State. Jeremy, uh, give me a key for the Bison. We always like to wrap it up with the key and also the television information for Bison fans with this game on Saturday night. You know, Youngstown lost three in a row, so you want to start fast, make them doubt themselves because they've been known to, you know, not handle that situation well over the years. So I think that's a, a key right there. As far as the TV, this is the league exclusive game, so it's ESPN Plus only. Great crew uh, covering the game on the TV side. Side, but we'll be there with the radio as well. So you're going to have options, but it's ESPN Plus only on TV. There you go. ESPN Plus. It's a 5 p.m. Central Time kick at Stambaugh Stadium in Youngstown, Ohio. The last two times the Bison have been there. They've been down by double digits yeah. uh, on the road at Youngstown State. So expect another great football game. For Cole Hine, for Jeremy, I'm Jeff. Thanks for watching our game day preview of Youngstown State.